example of this uh, obtain direct form to realization of the given transfer function now the process is simple first we'll divide this in two parts as all pole system and all zero system so here i'm writing this term this is w z by x z into y of z by w of z is equal to is equal to the same equation we'll hold here now first we'll simplify for all pole system and then for all zero system so i'm writing it here all pole system w by x is equal to all denominator terms they are 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse minus 1 by 2 z is 2 minus 2 now we will simplify in the same fashion with cross multiply the terms we will get w z minus 1 by 2 z inverse minus 1 by 2 z raised to minus 2 is equal to x z now we will shift all these delay elements to the right side so that we will get the equation 1 by 2 this again minus becomes plus into w z now by the same step we will take its inverse z transform that is taking inverse z transform we will write w z inverse is w n x z inverse is x n plus 1 by 2 now this is z inverse into w z so in order to obtain its inverse z transform always observe by how many term it is delayed here it is delayed by one term so you can write this is w n minus 1 w n z transform is w z it is shifted by one unit plus 1 by 2 now this is shifted by two units with respect to w so you can write this is w n minus 2 this is in time domain now in the same fashion we will simplify for all zero system and then we will correct it so as far as all pole system is considered you can see we will write yz by wz is equal to 1 plus 5 by 6 z inverse plus 1 by 6 z is 2 minus 2 again the same cross multiplication this is wz plus 5 by 6 z inverse wz plus 1 by 6 z is 2 minus 2 into w z again we will take its inverse z transform and we will write this is y of n wz is inverse is w n plus y by 6 it is shifted by one unit so this is w n minus 1 plus 1 by 6 w n minus 2 now we'll obtain direct form to realization of this equation as well as for this first we'll implement this equation and see so for that case again if you observe this is output and this is input term and output terms are delayed so we'll write them first lhs this is xn input and wn is output so first wn is equals to xn given so we'll take the same line wn is equals to xn next we need wn minus 1 so we have to add delay element here as z inverse whose output is w n minus 1 now it is multiplied with coefficient 1 by 2 so this is multiplied with 1 by 2 next w n minus 2 so we'll use one more delay element z inverse now this output is w n minus 2 and it is multiplied by plus 1 by 2 this is plus 1 by 2 now we'll add all these terms so for addition we need this is first and second adder here it is the first adder term here it is second they are being added this is there now this is our corresponding term as w n this is all pole system now we'll come across all zero system you can see this is our all zero system first y of n is equals to w n so we'll extend the same term this is my output as y of n now what we need is w n minus 1 w n minus 2 you can see already we have generated the terms w n minus 1 w n minus 2 so first 
this is wn minus 1 is multiplied with 5 by 6 so we'll extend this line and this is multiplied with coefficient as 5 by 6 and this is multiplied with 1 by 6 now again if you see we need two adder terms so we'll add this finally one adder this is second and final element will add in a similar fashion and this becomes our output as i of n so this is known as direct form to realization of the given transfer function you can see we are having combined delay elements this is one example mm. okay now this example we are solved by uh, some traditional methods or log methods now if you want to solve this within a fraction of seconds so if you observe this example here it is some whole points and these are the zeros point so if you see we need delay elements like z inverse z raised to minus 2 i written this z raised to minus 1 and this is z raised to minus 2 now if you observe the change the change is what zeros coefficient remains same so this is plus 5 by 6 this is what plus 1 by 6 and only the difference is what that whole coefficients here it is negative now while realizing it becomes positive that means all pole coefficients if they are negative becomes positive or if they are positive they becomes negative remaining terms as it is now we'll see the same with fraction of seconds now for this example we need three delay elements in pole points or uh, in pole system and two delay elements in the zero system so we'll take this term here i'm writing these terms this is the first delay element this is our second delay element and this is the third one now first we will implement for all pole system as i already told you if they are positive they becomes negative you see z inverse is multiplied with 7 by 12 so now it should be multiplied with minus 7 by 12 this is minus 5 by 12 it should be multiplied with plus 5 by 12 this is minus 1 by 6 it is multiplied with plus 1 by 6 and we need three adders so this is plus and they are being added so this is our all pole system now coming to the part of all zero we need only two delay elements that means we'll use this and this elements this is first 1 by 2 this is multiplied with 1 so z inverse is multiplied with 1 z is 2 minus 2 with 1 by 4 and we need two adders that will place here final as it is this is our y of n and this is our x of n so this is using shortest method thank you